Under fractions, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the little subheading under this, and this will be really easy for you because you guys are pretty good at math, uh, is what's called recognizing, recognizing halves. Again, fractions, um, most people are not real excited about fractions because they get to be a little bit confusing. One of the things that help you understand fractions more is if you know that if a fraction is close to a half or whatever. And what you have to understand is that if you have the fraction one half, there are countless, there are infinite, there are numerous other fractions that are the exact same thing as a half. For example, yesterday we had our little soccer party there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we had pizzas. Okay. And they didn't, you know, if you said you ate a half a pizza, well, the pizza place doesn't cut their pizzas into two pieces. They cut them into more than pieces. Yesterday, they cut their pizzas in eights, okay? So if you ate a half of a pizza yesterday, you didn't eat one out of two pieces. You actually ate four out of the eight slices of the pizza. But that means the same thing. You know, if your pizza was cut into 16 pieces, and you ate half of a pizza, that means you ate eight. eight of them. Or if it was cut, you know, if they got really goofy and they cut their pizza to 100 mm -hmm. slices, you'd have to eat 50 of them to eat half. Mm -hmm. And all of those fractions are the same thing as half. And when we write them down, we always try to use the simplest one, so we always try to use half as much as possible. But where this comes into play is, what about fractions that aren't exactly half? What if my fraction was um, 9 over 15? 9 over 15. Uh, is this fraction there? Is 9 15 going to be more than, if you ate 9 15 of a pizza, did you eat more than half of a pizza or did you eat less than half of a pizza? And how would you know? Okay, why would it be and how do you recognize if something is bigger than a half or if something is half? How do you know that 9 15 is more than half, Brant? Yeah. You can't divide an odd number. Yeah, you can. Okay. This is what you need to look at. You look at the denominator. Look at that denominator. And if the top number, if the top number is more than half, if top is more than half of it, that means the fraction is more than half. Okay. If I asked you what fraction that would have 15 on the bottom, it'd be hard for you to tell, but half of 15 is 7 and a half. Okay. If you ate 7 and a half pizzas out of, pieces out of 15, you ate half. But since you know that 8 was, is more than half, 9 is certainly more than half, 9 15 is by far, well not by far, but it is bigger than half. Okay. Uh, what if I said this? What if I gave you 13 out of 26? 13 26. Bigger than a half or less than a half? Wade Davis? 1326, bigger than a half or less than a half? It is one half because half of 26 is 13, so 1326 is equal to half. Now, 1426, on the other hand, Layla, would be more than a half or less than a half? 1326 is a half. If I ate 13 out of 26 pizzas, I ate half a pizza. If I ate 14 out of 26 pizzas, they be more than half, so we will go greater than one half. In the same way that 1126 would be what compared to a half? More or less than a half? For you? Less than a half. So looking at some of the problems that they gave you in the book, you skipped problem number six. Three tenths or what about three sixths? Three tenths compared to 3 6. Okay. In order to compare those, 
one of the quick ways to do it is look at how they compare to a half. Well, three tenths is greater, less than, or equal to a half. Okay, this is smaller than a half. Three sixths is a half. Is a half. So half would have to be bigger than well, something that's less than half. So that's how you would know that. Okay. Or they might ask you on problem number. What problem was the other one? Uh, Twenty-six. Which problem on problem 26 did not equal a half? There, there are three choices. Your four choices were 10, 20, 20, 40, 40, 80, or 60, 40. 10, 20, 20, 40, 40, 80, 60, 40. Which, which one does not equal a half? Right, because this is half, 10 is half of 20, 20 is half of 40, 40 is half of 80, 60 is not half of 40, so this one is not half of 20, so one and a half. We're not subtracting. We'll try it over. Got that? Perfect. Now, take out another blank piece of paper. Some more notes here. Let's call these.